Hi, welcome to this second lecture in this lecture series on computer forensics with me, Joachim Kjavrestad from the University of Skövde. Uh, for this second lecture we will have a short discussion on what cybercrime is and, uh, well, maybe more uh, what, in what type of investigations that computer evidence uh, plays a factor. And while this is interesting, uh, this is interesting for the reason that a very common misconception is that a computer forensic expert is someone who's working mainly of, on cyber crimes. And while I'm not going to go into what cyber crime is and look for a definition of that, I'm going to give you uh, a bit of information on how I view it. And the thing is that this misconception actually gives us the opportunity to have this brief discussion on cybercrime, but also to discuss when digital evidence is useful in criminal investigations, which is of great interest to you. Uh, first, uh, I want to tell you that, in my opinion, it's not really interesting for a forensic expert to discuss or to, uh, to chase after what constitutes a cybercrime, and that is because computer forensics deals with digital evidence, and uh, digital evidence is something that's present in pretty much any type of crime. Um, but, however, looking into what cybercrime is, one could, at least in my opinion, argue that it's about crimes against computers, or when, when computers are the main factors within the crime. Uh, this would involve uh, hacking attacks, um, creating malware, uh, it w would also involve like denial of service attacks, crimes where you are targeting the actual computers. Uh, looking at some other discussions, maybe a little bit old now, but still interesting, Rogers in 2001 had a discussion where he involved several types of criminals uh, in his discussion on computer criminals, and he included, for instance, hackers, fraudsters, and, and some other types of criminals as well, and th that would maybe suggest that computer criminals would be anyone who's using computers to commit a crime. Um, looking at it from a slightly different view, you could discuss uh, crimes in terms of means, motives and opportunity. Rodgers did this in 2000. Uh, means is basically uh, the tools that you need to commit a crime. Motives is uh, the reason why you're committing the crime and opportunity as well, the opportunity to commit a crime. So looking at it from, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, the perspective of someone who's who wants to steal a car, maybe the means would be a crowbar, the motives would be, well, he wants a car or he wants money by reselling the car, and opportunity would be seeing a car that's possible to steal. Uh, one could argue that a cybercrime is a crime where the means uh, is computerized. I mean, if you're using computers to commit a crime, maybe that's what would constitute a cybercrime. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, perhaps uh, a more useful discussion would be to discuss crimes in the terms of cyber crimes and computer aided crimes. And uh, this is basically my opinion, where I think that cyber crimes would involve crimes that are complete, completely cyber, such as, well, intrusions, denial of service, malware, and so on. But computer aided crimes would be uh, the traditional crimes that are aided by computers, uh, such as uh, online fraud, online drug trade. Uh, maybe child exploitation cases, everything where computers is a central part of the crime, but used as a tool rather than being the actual objective of the crime, if you know what I mean. Um, object offline crimes in this context would be acts that does not rely on computers or are aided by computers in any way. So like stealing a car, that's pretty much offline, unless you do it with computers, which you actually do uh, oftentimes these days. But, but however, totally offline crimes, uh, other crimes for computers doesn't play a role at all. Uh, however, uh, as you remember from the last lecture, digital evidence can still play a role in pretty much any type of crime. Um, and this is, uh, this is the running point here, because what I want you to understand is that in law enforcement, computers can always, or digital evidence can always play a role. Because, I mean, even if you do something that's completely offline, you, you, you steal a car or you commit burg burglary or something, there is still a chance that you use a computer in a second stage. Maybe you go home and you feel a bit bad, so you do a web search for for the punishments that are possible for, for the crime that you committed. Or maybe you had your cell phone when you committed the burglary and you even placed a call or took a photo, uh, like a selfie, where you was that contained... Uh, information that could be used to place you at the scene of the crime. 
And those are examples of offline crimes where digital evidence can still play a, a big role. Uh, well, this was actually all for this very brief uh, discussion on cybercrime. If you're interested, I in, uh, included a reference list to the two uh, uh, articles or publications by Rogers. There are there is actually two different Rogers, Rogers L and Rogers MK. And those are very interested if you want to go into what cybercrime is. Um, and uh, well, good learning if you're if you're up to that. Uh, however, with that said, thank you for your attention. And as last time, if you have any questions, post them in the comments field, and I will try my best to answer them. Bye.